Hi. Hi. Um, <laughs> welcome to my channel if you're new or if you're a regular to this channel, welcome back. This video is uh, quite a special one. Something crazy has happened and I am just dumbfounded. <laughs> I've received my first ever PR package. I know, right? <laughs> and it's by no one other than Beauty Bay. They sent over their brand new Utopia collection. Not the full collection, but bits and pieces for me to try. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'll go through what I received and the products and we'll be testing them out on my eyeballs. And also swatching them and discussing them and you know, all the usual things that I do with these videos. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that these are gifted to me, which I feel like is insane. <laughs> I'm so glad that it was Beauty Bay that I was first to receive things from because I've reviewed a lot of their things and I also love a lot of their products. And a lot of you guys may have found me from one of my first ever videos that I did reviewing their Nine Pan Bright Matte Palette. That was one of the first ever products that I tried and I gained a few subscribers from that video. And it was one of the first videos that got a lot of views and things like that. I mean, a lot of views is relative, but you guys know in general, I tend to like their products. I love their pastels palette you guys know i recommend that all the time so to me it, it's like a little circle has kind of you know formed you know <laughs> i don't know i'm just super grateful so if the team at beauty bay do watch this thank you so much for the opportunity i am a tiny little channel in the massive sea so it means a lot to you know be acknowledged even so yeah i just wanted to gush a little bit about this and uh now that i've done that i'm gonna stop and we're gonna get right into the products obviously even though these are gifted i'm gonna be 100 percent honest and the proof is in the pudding you know you're gonna see me apply it and everything so there's no hiding if they're crap products and we're gonna talk about it this is the look we're gonna be doing today i went bright and bold because that's what this collection is about and yeah i'm super excited so let's get right into the details of the collection So this collection is now available. It's their summer collection, I believe. It's called Utopia. In the collection, it has one eyeshadow palette, four different pressed pigments, and then it also came with the Aquavated Liner Palette, which is a cake liner palette. And then it also came with shimmer lip glosses. They sent over to me the Utopia Press Pigment Palette. It's 10 pounds. And it's in the exact same format as their Pastels Palette, which is eight pounds. This is the outer packaging. It's beautiful. I love the colours, it's so summery. And then this is the actual inside of the palette. And when I initially saw this online, I wasn't sure of the colour story, but I'm just gonna say it looks a lot better in person than the images. I don't think they really did it justice. They are super bright, vibrant, and then you have a little bit of depth in there as well with the blue and the purple. But generally, I think this is a palette that either you're gonna do if you wanna have just bright looks, or this could accompany your other palettes just for a pop of colour. I mean, it's such an affordable price as well and you get quite a few different colors so yeah if this is something that performs well it might be something nice to add to your collection I also received the Utopia Aquavated liner palette this is the outer packaging I really love the packaging that they've gone for for this collection with the tropical floral vibe it's just it's very cool and then this is the actual product I was very impressed when I opened this because this is actually quite weighted it feels really heavy like almost Natasha Denona kind of packaging like it's exactly the same component this has five shades in here we have two like neon colors a neon orange and a neon pink two more pastel colors with the purple and the mint and then we have a deeper purple which is very pretty as well obviously I used one today so we'll see how these perform these are cake liners so you activate them with some water or set a mist like I used and then you can just paint them on wherever you know this is a little bit more pricey than the palette this is 12 pounds i'm not sure why that is guess for the amount you get in here it's a decent price because singular ones can be pricey so again price is relative but i don't think it's astonishingly expensive you know and then finally i got a pressed pigment i got it in the shade rivery rivery 
I think, which is a beautiful yellowy gold. I obviously used this today on my eyes, so we'll see how it performs. There is three other shades. There's like a bronzy color, a rosy color, and then a taupey color as well. So they have almost all of your basic kind of neutral toppers. I hope they do extend this to different colors because formula wise, it'd be pretty cool and it's very affordable. And as I said, they do have a lip gloss trio, but I didn't get that. And honestly, I'm not that bothered because all of the shades are kind of just basic. There's a peach, a bronze, and a clear. Even though I haven't tried their gloss formula, I don't know. I wouldn't buy this trio, but it is available and it's 15 pounds. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say on the product so far. We're gonna swatch them. We're obviously gonna test them out and do this look together. And then we will discuss my thoughts at the end. So without further ado, let's get right on into the swatches. All right, let's do some swatches of the palette. We have Halcyon. I think that's how you say it. Bliss. Eden and Midsummer. That's the first row. Then we have Dreamland, Blaze, Serene, and Paradise. So pigmented, so easy to swatch. Obviously the lighter shades don't swatch the best, but we will see how they perform on the eye. But yeah, that's the palette swatched. Let's swatch the cake liners. I'm going to do this with a synthetic brush. This is Excite. Dazed. Ooh, such a pretty shade. Pixie. Flora. I think I might have diluted these last ones a little bit more. I'm just going to build that up a little bit more so you guys can see the colour. And then finally we have the shade Burst. Wow. So neon. So that is all the cake liner swatch for you guys. This is the Press Pigment Rivery. Alright, so that is everything swatch for you guys. By the way, the pressed pigments and the wet liners wiped off real easy with just some micellar water. But yeah, let's get into the actual look now, shall we? All right, let's get into these products. I'm really excited to do something colorful. I've primed my eyes with the Beach Bay Eye Base. This is in the shade two. I've been using this a bunch lately. I really like it. And yeah, I've kind of taken it like all the way out to my temples because I want to go big or go home today, you know? <laughs> so first of all, we're going to be going in with the palette. I really love this color, this like, what would you call it? Aqua color, so beautiful. I kind of wish that this color of the actual packaging was in there. You know, I guess this blue down here is similar, but it's slightly more blue leaning than the packaging. It's a little bit more green on the outside, you know? But anyway, let's try this on my eyeball, shall we? <laughs> I was thinking about doing like a two-tone, really blown out, blended eye look with like a little bit of shimmer on the lid. It's that pretty pressed pigment that we've got from the collection. But yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's just get into it. First color I'm gonna go into is Eden. Well, that picks up so much on the brush. <laughs> I just realized we have a potential mirror peel. Let's do it together. Oh, satisfying. I want to put this on the inner corner so I'm just going to add a little bit more base here and bring it underneath as well just so we have all this ready. Right and I'm just going to press this on the ooh, on the inner corner. This is not a typical shade I will I would go for, but I was like, you know what? Let's just play with it. Oh, I did get some on my nose. Oops. <laughs> okay, I was a bit skeptical in the beginning because it wasn't really that impactful at first over the base, but now I've kind of built it up a little. That is really good for not being on a white base. Okay, I'm just gonna blend out the edges a little to do about a quarter way across the lid. And as I said, I'm gonna bring this underneath a bit, just kind of join it up together. There is a little bit of kick up in the pan, but honestly, not that much for this kind of pigment and this kind of color as well, because pretty much it is like a pastel neon grass green, if that makes sense. So far, so good. It's built up, it's blending. Now I'm gonna go for the shade Paradise. Whoa, so much pigment comes off on the brush, like instantly. I know they are pressed pigments, but damn. I wanna base this over here. Wow. <laughs> this pigment is pretty insane and it blends out so easily oh my gosh just slightly 
dusting over those edges. Build it up a little. I definitely want to add some more of the colors in here, but I mean, this looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit more of the Eden shade and just kind of bring it more on an angle for our halo kind of thing. Hoping when I add like the liner and stuff, it'll look pretty cool in the end. I want to add another color in, so I'm going to use the shade. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> I think it's Halcyon. Hal Halcyon. I don't know, but it's like a bright green again. It's not as yellow based as this one though. But I'm just gonna kind of go over the edges a little bit lightly, just blend out the blue a little, and kind of use this almost as a brow bone highlight. So it's a little bit more kick up than the other ones. Such a beautiful colour though, look at that. Blend out the blue a little bit with this. I'm also gonna add this to the inner edge. I'm still even like a slither blank for the pigment we're gonna use but I just wanna use more of this palette, you know? I love the shade. Wow. Just gonna bring back in some of that paradise shade, make sure we haven't lost it. Because these do build really well over each other. This colour combo really does remind me of like foreign seas, Spain seas, you know, just the beaches. So pretty. I'm just gonna use a little bit of the shade on the inner corner as well, just by here underneath the brow, just to blend a little bit more. And honestly, just to use more of that shade. <laughs> All right, I'm loving this bright moment, but I think I want to add a little bit of depth just like the lash line. So I'm going to go in with the shade Serene and I'm really just going to base that at the lash line and kind of blend it into the blue just so we have a little bit of depth, you know. Wow, so... He's so freaking pigmented, I can't cope. Like I barely pressed my brush into that, like one dip. Okay. I keep it based in the center of the brighter blue and then I'm gonna blend it out. Okay, I legit love how this is coming together. It's so cool. I think it's now time to add the pigment in the center. I'm so excited. I have swatched this already just because I couldn't help myself because it looks so sparkly. <laughs> I think we're gonna try this with a brush first and without wetting it or anything. I have a feeling it's not gonna pick up that well though and it'll probably be better with the finger. Okay, that's a few swipes. It's definitely on there. Let's put this here. Oh, oh wow. That looks so pretty. I'm just kind of tapping it in the center and then I'm gonna make a little bit of a gradient into the two colors. It is really pretty. I am gonna go in with my finger. It's a bit of a weird texture. It feels like a compacted pigment, which is what it is, but usually with pressed pigments, it just feels like a creamy kind of eyeshadow. This one, you can actually almost feel the pigment in there, if I'm making any sense. <laughs> but it does look so smooth and metallic. So let's just press this on the lid. Definitely think it's better with the finger, it's just obviously less precise. <laughs> just try and fade these edges again. I am gonna go back into the pigment palette and just kind of blend the edges a bit more, but I think that is beautiful. <laughs> Although I can't help but wonder what it'll look like dampened. <laughs> Let's just see, shall we? Is it gonna... Ooh! Yeah, so much better. So much better when it's dampened. It just applies better, really. The sheen is similar, but it just feels so much creamier when you dampen it. Okay, I wasn't sure how I was going to make the gold work with this look, but honestly, I think it works and it looks... Look at that. It's so pretty. Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna go back in with the shades and just blend the gold in a little bit more with the colors. And then we'll move into the cake liners. <laughs> Sorry you guys, my camera just died on me, so I took advantage of that time and just did my other eye off camera. Now it's time to try the cake liners. We have some bright ass colors in here. This is a neon pink, 
and a neon orange, and then we have some more pastel shades, which honestly, looking at my eye look now, I, I don't know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering if I should do something with like the neon orange. Do I just go absolutely insane? <laughs> do I do pink? I think I'm gonna go in with the orange, you know, because it would be safe to go in like with the mints, I guess. I'm gonna go in with the orange shade, <laughs> which by the way, these do have shades on the back. So the one I'm going in with is electric and I'm just gonna spritz some setting spray in there. You can just use water and let's see what the formula of these are like. I think I wanna do like a little liner in the middle and then also do my inner corner. We shall see if these crack or anything, you know. I have this little like painter's brush from Amazon. I use this all the time. I'll put them down in the description for you if you're interested. But yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. So <laughs> wish me luck. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually quite impressed with how pigmented that went on and it's dried down quite quickly, but not super fast. I felt like I could work with it a little bit. I think I am gonna do the inner corner, but I'm gonna leave that until I've done my base just to make it easier on myself. I'm probably gonna do swatches of these anyway, but let me just show you. This is one swipe, like super pigmented, super vibrant. Yeah, just very impressed. <laughs> The one thing I need to do now is try and match these up. <laughs> Wish me luck guys, because this is going to be the hard part. They're kind of even, uh, almost, <laughs> maybe not, but you know what, I did my best. I'm now gonna go ahead, do my base and everything. We'll come back, finish up the lower lash line and everything. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so I went off, I did my base and everything and I finished up this eye. So I did an extended in a corner, which at this point I'm just obsessed with doing. <laughs> and I kind of blended it out a little bit and added shimmer underneath as well, which is not something I usually do, but I really love that pressed pigment. So I wanted to play with it a little bit more. So let's do it on this eye together. So I first went in with the electric shade again from the water activated liners and I just extended the inner corner. Once I've created the line, I'm just gonna add a little bit more liquid to the liner just to make it a little bit more fluid and I'm just gonna blend the edge just ever so slightly. Before it dries I'm going in with the shade Blaze and I'm buffing that liner out. Just kind of marry that up with the liner and I'm gonna take this about halfway across the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of the Halcyon, Halcyon? shade. Still don't know how to say it. And I'm gonna go on the outer corner with this. I think this is gonna be like my favorite shade in the palette. It's so pretty. Bringing it to meet up with the orange but I'm not gonna try and blend them or anything because these colors won't necessarily blend well together. Just letting them meet in the middle you know. Now to finish this off I'm going back in with the pigment. I'm taking this on a dampened brush. I'm gonna blend it in between these two shades and almost follow along the inner corner that we've created. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the electric shade and apply it to my waterline slightly. Blend that edge. Then I'm gonna take a nude eyeliner. This is just Honey Dude by Colourpop and fill in the rest. For tight lining, I actually decided to use a blue. This is by Revolution Pro. It's the Supreme Pigment Gel Eyeliner in the shade Blue. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes and add some mascara. I'm using the Makeup Revolution Lift and Define 5D Lash Mascara. Then I'm gonna apply some lashes. These are Clementine by Unicorn Cosmetics. And I do actually have a discount code with Unicorn Cosmetics. It's Klara15. And I believe it saves you 10 or 15 percent off. I'll put the spell and everything down in the description box for you guys just in case you were interested. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop these on. All right, so these are the finished eyes. I'm actually in love. With this look. It's so bright and soft and pretty. I'm very happy. I'm gonna go away, do my hair and stuff, and then we'll discuss my thoughts on these products and obviously do a nice little montage. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so this is the finished look. I am really happy with this. I love how colorful it is, how bright it is. I really wasn't expecting it from 
this palette and I don't know why. Let's just hop right on into the products. So the Utopia Pressed Pigment Palette. I feel like it's so much more vibrant in person than it looked online. And as you can see, the actual colors really transfer onto the lid and they pop and they build and they blend. Like this is a perfect formula. I obviously haven't tried the purple which can be like the problematic but I'm definitely going to play around with this some more and all of the shades that I tried today work so well. I love the Halcyon, Halcyon, I still don't know how to say that <laughs> but I love that shade, it's so pretty. Reminds me of Tropical Waters which you know I'd love to be by right now. <laughs> Has me dreaming of holidays. You guys saw exactly how it performed. It blended so well, like the colours just worked. I'd say it's a bright version of the pastels palette which is like one of my favorite palettes in my collection so 10 out of 10 highly recommend I feel bad that I didn't have high hopes but I'm pleasantly surprise. The Kate Kleiner palette, obviously I've only tried the one shade, but there is zero cracking and you can see how vibrant this orange is. And I didn't layer it either. I just put it over the shadows as they were and I didn't need to layer it. Really pigmented, really easy to work with. I love the packaging because it feels heavy and feels almost luxe, you know. I do love the colours they have in here. I do wish that they maybe bring up more palettes like this and have more shades, maybe like a pastel one one would be good. I think the amount you get in here as well is really good for the price. I cannot wait to use the pastel purple. Also the pink and the orange together as like a gradient would look so cool as well. I have so many ideas that I can use this for and that makes me happy and the formula is really decent as well so I feel like Beauty Bay know what they're doing. The products that they're bringing out I just feel like have a consumer in mind in my opinion and they just really work. So I'm happy with these. And then finally the pigment, I really like it. It's really pretty on the lid there. I do maybe wish it was a little bit more metallic and maybe a little bit creamier in consistency. It doesn't feel gritty at all, but it feels like a thick, powder and kind of hard pressed. It is a pressed pigment so it's not supposed to be like a creamy formula or anything but this is just my preferences. It worked perfectly fine and still looks so good on the lid and there's no separation or anything like that in my hooded eyes and it does have nice micro sparkle in it so it's really pretty and I definitely reach for it again. I definitely preferred using this with a dampened brush though just so you can really get the impact of the shine of the product. So yeah apart from that everything works so well. Honestly, the majority of things that I've tried from Beauty Bay, I've enjoyed like their palettes, their bronzer, their blushes. I've always been pleasantly surprised with their products just because of the price point for one. They're always really affordable, which is something I like about their brand, but also their products work really well. I'm literally in love with this eyeshadow look. I think it's one of my favorites I've ever done <laughs> and I felt like it was really effortless as well. So thumbs up, 100%. I'm so glad I like these products. <laughs> Let me know down below in the comments if you were intrigued in any of these. I know a few people have said they really want to try the cake liners, which I know they went out of stock real quick. So if you can get your hands on them, I know you won't be disappointed. I'll definitely link everything down below for you if I can. And that goes with everything else that's on my face. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and sticking around and joining my channel and generally supporting my videos. It means so much. I would like to say thank you for Beauty Bay as well for sending me the these products it still blows my mind that uh, I actually got these as like a PR like that what <laughs> but I hope you guys know I do not take this for granted at all again st I still can't believe it <laughs> but it is very validating considering I've been doing this since 2017 so it's just nice to be seen you know? Anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I have been babbling on. <laughs> if you're just now stopping by on my channel and you're brand new and you like everything makeup, I hope you decide to stick around. If you'd like to, all you need to do is hit the red button down below and the bell button so you get notified of my future uploads, which is every Monday and Thursday. But yeah, with all that said, I hope I see you on the next one. Till then, bye guys.